when you draw a face, you make sure you draw from the outside to the inside. The biggest is where you're going to put the whole face. So you're going to plan on that. That is called composition, right? So let's say where I'm going to put this. It's totally up to you. This is no right or wrong answer. It's totally up to you where, how big the face would be. That also the decisions based on how much other things you want to include in your portrait. Do you want to include the hands? Do you want to include the whole body? Or do you want to include some other background? It's totally up to you. So based on your decision, you know how big the face you have on the space in your drawing. Okay, now let's see we're going to keep it like this. For the simple. Now the next thing you're going to do is to take a look at the width compared to the height. And roughly, is that in the correct uh, proportion. Next thing, I'm going to look at the hairline. Look at the hairline over here. It's about like a one six for the whole face. From the hairline coming to all the way to the chin, the bottom of the chin, you can divide it into three. One, two, three. See this? One, two, three. Exact same proportion. And you look at your own photograph, look at yourself from the mirror, you can see that you actually very much fit into the same same model, the similar proportion divided into, but not exactly always the same. Some people have a little bit longer nose, and some people have a, a smaller forehead that you can adjust it. It's not always exactly the same, but for most people, they are. So, and also the top over here and to the bottom, the middle of that is actually the eye. So we know that the eyebrows on this one, from the hairline to the to the chin, the eyebrows. That's the second one. Is the nose, okay? And then, what about the mouth? The mouth usually, for most people, you can divide into five. One, two, three, four, five, and there will be one, two, three, four, five, and that means like a over here that is the lower, uh, the, the, uh, the middle line between the upper lip and the lower lip. And the second one is actually the lower border of the mouth. You can look at your own reference and you decide on how you're going to divide it. Not everyone the same. For most of the people, actually, the middle from the bottom of the nose to the bottom of the chin, the middle is actually the lower border of the lower lip. So you can, based on what you see, you can adjust it. Okay, now from what I see over here, and it looks like it can be five, but lower. And the top over here have a little bit more space. So the lip over here, about like this, but the nose to the, to the upper border of the upper lip, it actually have a little bit more space, like a twice as space as the as the upper lip, and then uh, the lower lip is about coming down over here. So you can make a few adjustments, and you can get it. So this is the location vertical location. Now we already know the eye is about in this center line from the top to the bottom. So remember this. Now. We're going to draw the center line from the top to the bottom based on this photo reference because it's like a look at straightly, straightly to the front, right? So you see that like a, there's a center line divided left and right. It looks like, like a reflected, right? Now let's take a look. Uh, what about the eye? The eye usually is about from here to here is one eye and then one eye space between the two eyes is one eye space and another one eye, another one eye on this side. That's normally, but not everyone is the same. Looking at this reference, 
and actually the edge over here only half of the eye. And so we can divide this space into three, one, two, three. That means the space between the two eyes is one third of this and over here is one eye and there's one eye. So you need to, based on your subject, you want to pay attention to this space and divide it, that is called horizontal space, dividing into like this. And the eyebrows have a little bit angle like this. Right, right now, it doesn't look like anyone. It's very general, right? So we try to get the proportion correctly before we go to specific detail, specific feature of that person. Now, let's start over here. Now I'm gonna see the shadow side. The shadow side div divided over here, the middle part of the nose over here, and the other part is you see in the structure of the nose coming up and then a little flat, curve over, and then coming down, right? Or most of the people's nose look like that. Right. Okay, now looking at on the mouth over here also underneath is just the, the row of T, two rows of T, so it's curved over. From here, curve over. And also in the eye, we already know the eye is also an eyeball behind this the eyelid. So that means like uh, this side would be a little darker, right? This side a little bit darker, because shadow side. This is the light. So between this the eyeball over here. This is also dark, right? Like this. And so it looks like there's an eyeball inside over there. And also because of their nose is come up. So this side, also the shadow side blocking that. And then coming over here, the mouth also a little rounded. So now I make this side to be a little bit darker as the shadow side. And the corner of the, the mouth as a little bit uh, in them. And the, on the chin, it also rounded. So I can see this is the shadow side, that is the light side on the other side. So we can make the face look like a rounded. But the whole face important, the whole face actually also rounded. So the whole face look like an egg. So on this side, you see that this is the shadow side. So overall, you're looking at the face look like an egg. It's very important. You don't want to see that face flat. And both sides of the face also coming in, gradually coming in. So reach to the, and coming in and reach to the ear, right? Okay. Now still very general. And you cannot really tell it's a boy or girl. And now, after we define uh, the width of their eye, and then you can define on the width of the nose comparing the width of the nose to the width of the eye. Looks like right over here. And her eyes is very big, very big. Okay, now where are we going from here? Now we're going to define the outside edge of the face, like this. And look at the angle, the angular measurement coming down like this. And on this side, very much similar. There's a catch shadow blocking part of the face here. And then looking over here, a little curve outside and gradually coming in. Like that, like this. And on the face over here, a little big shape, a very light shape and showing so a little bit rounded as the cheek, right? Okay, and then the hair over here on the top and also have catch the shadow and showing to that. Okay, let's take a look. Let's finish this drawing. 
Now looking at the here over here and above the skull, there is also have some hair coming up like this. And looking at the forehead over here, the hair cover. I'm using a compressed charcoal. I put the materials in the video description. You can take a look at it okay. right over here, like that. And the hair coming on this side. Like that. And the neck over here have cast the shadow. And then look at that. The neck also like a cylinder. Right? And you can see the cast the shadow onto here. And then here you go. And the hair is about here. Now we come in to take care of the eye, the nose, give a little specific details. Like look at the eye. And I'm gonna get a Now I'm gonna come in to look at the eye, right? Look at the upper eyelid. You already know how to draw the eye, so now you can use it. But before this step, you should not draw the eye because you don't even know where the eye is, right? So it need to be proportionally correct. Like that, and it's very easy. And now in the corner over here, a little bit darker, like that. And on this side, you see the corner over here. Now let's move to the other side. And the eye over here. Okay, have some thickness. So you can see the catch the shadow. Look at the eye coming under here. And you can see the iris. And on this side, also a shadow. So you don't see much in the, uh, much light in the uh, eye white. Like that. And the upper and the lower lip, the lower eyelid. You can see and have a little bit of detail over here. Now you can get a little bit close look and then look at over here the cast shadow, or the shadow side of the uh, the nose ridge, like that. Now you can give a little look at the, the positive space, negative space, and that's a little bit dark over here, and connect to eyebrows. Now on this side, they're very much the same, but a little bit lighter because closer to the light, like that. And then coming to the nose, on this side, you see the nostril right over here, and the nostril over here looks like a little teardrop shape, right? Like that. And take a look over here, it's a little bit darker too. And that's just the shadow. And now you can look into the, the mouth. And the, catch the shadow on this side. And take a look at the mouth over here, the corner. A little bit smiling, and like that. And the upper lip of the mouth is about here. Shade a little bit, and the shadow side, and a little bit over here. And as you gradually go in and spend a little time on it, they would the drawing will look like a real person. And I'm going to make the outside over here 